Hello YouTube, my name's Andy and I've got a question for you. How many amplifiers would you have? So let me clarify that a little bit. Just imagine you could have as many amplifiers as you wanted. You won a prize or something from your local guitar shop and they've negotiated to give you as many amplifiers as you want. How many would you actually have? The only stipulation is that if you get an amplifier, you've got to keep it. You can't just acquire amplifiers and sell them. How many would you have if money wasn't the issue? And I think the answer might be not very many at all. Like most people, you probably haven't got that much space in the spare bedroom in your house. And therefore, I think you would not actually have 25 or 50 uh, different amplifiers. But things have changed. We live now in the world of um, digital amplifier modelling um, and you can have as many amplifiers as you want without needing to find lots of space for them and without having to spend an absolute fortune. I was watching a YouTube video on the Tonex, um, which looks like a very interesting product, um, and the guy that was doing it was saying there are, at the moment, 130 available amplifier profiles for the Tonex. And I thought, 130? Are you going to download and install 130 different amplifiers? And if you did, are you going to play them? But that's a, that's a whole new problem, isn't it? How do you choose? All right, well, let's just imagine we want to play some music from the 1970s. I haven't got a digital uh, amplifier profiling gadget. I have a digital recording studio that's got 39 inbuilt amplifiers. I can't load any more in, but as far as I'm concerned, 39 is lots. I think the amplifier manufacturers um, are going to need to change the way they work. If they're not already phasing out valve amplifiers, then then I think they will have to fairly quickly because um, digital amplifier modelling is, is here to stay. I need to finish up with some sort of a conclusion. In a minute, I'll just give you a few example tones of the things that I've created on this 15 year old technology here. But um, I think I might be right. Um, some of the amplifier manufacturers have recently been sold and I think Marshall is the latest. Um, that's that's pretty big news. Now, if I had uh, a, a big valve amplifier, um, I think I probably would want some kind of amplifier, digital profiling, um, modeling type thing, but I'm not yet sure which, which one I'd want. Um, I think I'd go for the the, 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 the technology that allowed me to create my own tones. Just imagine if you go into a pizza shop and they say, we've got 12,476 different pizzas you can choose from. I think you'd want to build your own, wouldn't you? Okay, thanks very much. Here are those tones. Bye.